Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Leo. Hope you're all well. Let's see what's happening with Leos. Any changes in your love life? What is the overall energy surrounding Leo? What does Leo need to know? Overall energy surrounding you in your love life. Does Leo need to know? She's surrounding Leo in their love life. What does Leo need to know? All right, Leo. Oops, there we go. Ah, forgiveness. Yeah. And new beginnings. Wow, there may be somebody coming in that's... Uh, Hoping that you can forgive them. They want a new beginning. You may be forgiving yourself for something and going off and having a new beginning. Let's see what happens here. Leo. Wow. And then we have enlightenment. Ooh, somebody's going through a bit of an awakening here. They're seeing things different. Somebody is coming in. They want forgiveness, I feel. Uh, fresh new start. Somebody's been enlightened. They've learned something. This is a bit of a spiritual journey for someone. And uh, this could be you, so flip this energy however you see fit. All right, Leo, what's coming in, what's going out, what's changing in the love lives of the Leo viewers? Clear messages and guidance for Leo regarding their love life. What do they need to know? What does Leo need to know? Leo, Leo, Leo. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. And Eight of Pentacles. And the Hanged Man. Wow. I feel like there's somebody who's... Could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I see Pisces. There's somebody here. You may have worked with this person. And uh, there's someone here who wants to come towards you. They're looking for forgiveness. They want to make things right. Um, they feel like they need to do the right thing. They may not have done the right thing before, but they're changing their perspective. This person is stuck. They're trying to figure out how to approach you, all right, how to approach a subject, what to say. Um, they're coming, definitely somebody coming back around with a different approach, and I feel like they're thinking about putting some work into this. Uh, this is somebody who possibly didn't do things right. They, they weren't slow and steady. Uh, I feel like it's been a long time, too. It's taken this person a long time uh, to become enlightened, to wake up. There's something here, uh, some kind of clarity. Yeah, they want to make things right, whoever they are. And uh, they, you may have worked with this person, but I feel like they didn't put the work in before. Now they're seeing things differently. Uh, so they're putting a lot of, you can see, they're working very hard through this process to think about this new beginning, this enlightenment Interesting. They may have gone through a bit of an awakening, but I feel like this is news. There's something here uh, to be learned, so just a little bit of caution, I feel. There you go, Leo. Yeah, this person feels very stuck. They've been looking at the details, trying to figure out how to have a new beginning. Yeah, this person's looking at everything. They know. They're looking for clarity. They need to be speak their truth here, but I feel like it's what's happening. Uh, this is someone who didn't really tell you everything. This is someone who only sort of it's what they it's not what they do tell you, it's what they don't tell you. So you're this is could be you looking at this, you know, but I feel it's this person, you know, they're definitely looking at the details. They know they need to make this right, but they're feeling a little bit stuck. So they're trying to they're looking at something from every angle, every perspective perspective here wanting to clear things up with you so they want this new beginning <sighs> yeah and then we have yeah six of swords this person you know they want to clear things up look at that you see looking up at the sky it's starting to get a little lighter same as here they want to move towards you they want to make peace they want to take everything that they've learned from this experience and come towards you they're you know they're changed i think they have changed their perspective they may be seeing things from your point of view hoping maybe you can forgive them uh, the answer is can you 
because I feel that you're taking everything from this experience with this person. You may be moving on. You're enlightened, all right, that you may need to just move forward and have a new beginning elsewhere. You're not so sure. <laughs> Yeah, so there it is. There's that sun. It's shining. There you are, Leo. You're becoming very clear. Uh, you may feel like you just want a new beginning. You may be taking everything you learned from this and you're just letting it go. Um, you know, you're definitely thinking a lot about this. You know, you're looking up here. See these birds flying. You're thinking about setting yourself free and just letting go with this energy. I feel like this person wants to be set free. Uh, they've been holding on to this and uh, feeling very stuck with whatever it is that happened and there's this lack of clarity but they want to clear things up it's right in the middle and they want to come towards you with what they're learning i don't know if you're so much into this i feel you need to you feel like you need to protect yourself from this person they don't always tell the truth uh, they this is somebody where things just didn't work out before because they didn't come towards you in the right way they're seeing things different and I feel you may be as well so here's the sun the sun is shining this person wants a new beginning yeah three of wands some of you have been holding on to something that you need to let go something that this person did um, which is probably not telling you the truth the lack of clarity you're sort of looking at this feel like this person is very much protective of their money too. I feel this earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, somebody who's protective of their money. It keeps them very stuck. They don't tell the truth about it. They never make their intentions very clear. I feel like they work very hard, but they're starting to see things different. You know, they're looking at things from a different perspective now. Yeah, they're definitely learning. Uh, they are enlightened, but I, I feel like you, <laughs> there's a light at the end of the tunnel here for you. I feel like you've been holding on to this, but I think you're now looking into the future. Uh, this person hopes you're still waiting for them. I feel they, uh, yeah, there's that Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person, I don't know. There's something here that you know has been exposed that you've learned through this process, something you've looked at the details that's kept you stuck, that you're holding on to about this person. And I feel like you may not see a future with this person. I feel this person's very focused on the passion. I feel like they're very focused on this new beginning with you. Uh, this person needs to do things right. They need to take their time, get to know you. Maybe they didn't do that in the past. Uh, they're going to come in and change their approach. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, pay attention to you. Learn more about you to have this new beginning. But I feel you're something you're looking at that was exposed, something in the details of what this person didn't tell you. I don't know if you see a future with this person. You're holding on to this one wand. It's a three of wands. They want, it. they want you in their future. They want this new beginning. They're very focused on this. They want to clear things up. Um, they want to let you know they see things from your perspective now. They want to put the work in. But I don't think you're so sure this can work because this is in the middle. You're, it's that energy of like you just feel like you just need to go off and have something new focus on something new because you've also changed how you see things how you see this person how you see the whole situation even yourself i think you're just ready for something new and i feel like you got some real happiness coming towards you uh, i feel like you're very much focused on the future uh, there's new growth you see the possibilities you're coming up with creative ideas and you're really feeling that passion I think you're focused on the future. I feel like you're kind of were holding on to this person for a long time. Uh, but I think you know it's time for something completely new. Interesting enough. So let's see what uh, the Knight of Pentacles spirit has to say about the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for Leo? There we go. Ah, uh, the dark woman. Dealing or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. So this could be you, Leo, somebody moving towards you, okay, coming in, thinking about you. This person's thinking about you, the details. 
Um, they're checking you out from every angle possibly as well. They're thinking of coming in and putting some effort in. Like, and it's going to take some effort. They know this is going to be really hard work. This person sees you as very hard working, Leo. Uh, they do. They see you as very hard working. Uh, they see the possibilities. They're checking you out. So this, some of you, this is somebody new. Definitely. They want to, they're going to come towards you very slow and steady. Uh, they want to learn about you. They're willing to put the work in. So it could be someone you've met. It kind of feels like it with the hanged man. But for some of you, it's someone new. They're just kind of hanging around. Maybe they hang around your workplace, right? Checking you out. So it's going to be a little different for, for everybody. Let's see what this Eight of Pentacles is about. Yeah, look at that, the ring. So I feel a marriage will take place, either romantic or business. Yeah, some of you may have a new job, a new um, coming up. You may be looking at this from every angle, looking at the details. Uh, some of you um, definitely are a little stuck, not so sure yet if the, everything's clear, but there may be movement. Some of you may be moving, changing location. It could be a new job as well. So, but I feel there's this person, uh, and if you're dark-haired, this person's definitely thinking about you. Uh, they may be a dark-haired woman. Take it as it resonates. There's a marriage here. There's work. You may be signing some kind of contract or something here for a new job that's going to make you relocate for a new beginning. Uh, you may be very focused on this. Now, there's going to be a lot of growth. There's a lot of possibilities. It's a lot of, uh, could be a very creative job. Something you, the first time you've ever done this job, it could be completely new. But there's a lot of room for growth here. Beautiful. But as far as a relationship goes, this marriage will take place, either romantic or business. Somebody wants to come in and put the work in. Uh, they want to move towards a commitment. They're seeing things differently. So for those of you where you have somebody who, uh, is possibly coming in with this Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady. <laughs> you haven't seen them for a long time. They're looking for forgiveness. They want to make things right. Wow, yeah, there's the sun. There you are. Happiness and well-being, Leo. This person's seeing you different. They're seeing you clearly. They're seeing this situation clearly. They want to clear things up, express themselves, hoping that you'll forgive them. Okay, wow. And then we have Four of Pentacles. Something important such as a new job or a raise. Yeah, this person's holding on to their money. See that money bag? Yeah, this is somebody who might have been a little selfish in the past. Or this is someone who's holding on to their money. They're protective of their money. They're protecting something. And it's very important, whatever it is. Uh, it's all in the details. There's a lack of clarity as far as that goes. And I feel this person, they obviously didn't tell you something this person doesn't want to let go of you. I'm going to tell you that. But there's something that they're looking at that they're having a hard time letting go of. Or maybe you're having a hard time letting go of something uh, to have this new beginning. But it's seeing things differently, seeing things new, looking at the details. Very cool, you guys. So we have the fly. A period of ill health and depression. Yeah, this person's... You know, they need to speak their truth. They need to get something off their chest. They've been possibly a little depressed. I feel they, uh, yeah, they want to move past this. They've learned something here. So I feel there's a need for some clarity. This person needs to get something off their chest. They need to speak their truth. I feel like they don't want to let go of you. I actually feel they want to come in, put the work in. They're seeing you differently, seeing the situation different. It may be you. You may have a change of perspective. Things may be coming clear. Okay. And then we have love. Yeah, see, moving forward, somebody definitely doesn't want to let go of you. They're just sick with love. I feel they've never told you that. They've held their feelings and emotions inside. They've never actually told you how they feel. But there's love here. Some of you are moving forward. This person's coming in. They want to make peace. They want to come towards you. They want to come and see you. Some of you are actually moving on to someone else. Yeah, you may meet somebody that you work with in the future if you have a new beginning, a new job. 
uh, you're definitely changing your perspective and your approach to things like you're just seeing the sunny side of everything right now I feel and if you're not it's really a good idea to truly really try to do that let go of things that don't serve you here because they will hold you down make you sick yeah someone's sick in love they're depressed they just want to come in different stories for each of you tell me about the sun there you are Leo look at that yeah you have the tower solid foundation success and effort some of you are overcoming something there's rebuilding somebody wants to come and have a new beginning with you they love you they've never told you that uh, they've learned something through this experience with you whatever it is that happened they're looking at everything they want to make things right they feel like you're the right person for them uh, they're thinking about marriage wow wow some of you could have both, a new job. You may move and actually meet somebody new. And while you go through this transition, you may actually start feeling happier. You maybe change your perspective about how you feel about love. Uh, you're going to let go. You're gonna, things are going to start to clear up here. And you're going to start uh, really looking forward to a new beginning in love. So I feel that like you've got some kind of solid foundation. Some of you, it's new love, moving, relocating. You're going to meet this person at this new job. Some of you, it's somebody coming back, putting the work in. So three of wands. This is something you've been waiting for, and I feel like your ships are here. This wand you've been holding, holding on is now starting to have new growth. Uh, there's enlightenment, a new beginning. Things are clearing up. Someone's very focused on you. They want to clear things up. They want to talk to you. They find you very sexy and very attractive. And I feel like this person sees a future with you. Wow. Some of you, your ships are here. You can actually see a brighter future for yourself because you're thinking more positive. Uh, you definitely got some happiness. There we go. So there's a skull here. Hidden secrets can harm you. Yeah, so watch this. Some of you are holding on to something. So watch this energy with the skull. Well, there's something that you're holding on to you need to let go of or there's somebody who's very focused on you they may be someone who was focused on you for the passion in the past you're very enlightened you're very clear about that i also feel like somebody needs to make their intentions clear and you need to make you know yourself clear too no secrets uh, i feel as though you're ready for a new future some of you are gonna the tower is coming down some of you are just leaving someone behind too right and you're going off to have a new beginning uh beginning some of you are going to be working in a new a new job in a new building a, a tower and uh, some of you may be moving to a place like this that's a big tower big apartment building okay there's going to be a lot more sun um, it's a new beginning i feel like you're very much focused on this and there's going to be a lot more light there i feel for some reason it's going to make you feel good so it goes either way, like there's a lot of information here. Let me pull another one out on this Three of Wands. Didn't really focus on that. Yeah, broken wishbone. Yeah, wish will not be granted. Yeah, so some of you definitely um, are looking into the future. You don't see a future with this person. Somebody's coming back, and I feel that... Um, you don't feel the same. I don't think you feel the same about this person. They're now seeing you different. They want a new beginning, but you're not feeling the same. You're moving on. Uh, you're going to have a new beginning in love. You're taking everything you learned, and you're going to have a new beginning elsewhere. And it has something to do with a new job or moving to a new place. Um, somebody here... Yeah, you can't see a future with someone. Your ships are here in a different direction, like you're... You've been holding on to something right here with this bag. Protecting yourself, holding on to something that you need to let go of because, yeah, it's this person here that didn't tell you the truth. You may have went through a lot of depression. You may have actually loved this person, but you know you need to move away. We have the Ace of Wands. There we go. Yeah, you will be playing a different role. Hat. You're going to be wearing a different hat. <laughs> I feel like the roles have reversed. I think you're now focused on something else. This person's coming in now. Now they want to have this new beginning. They're thinking about uh, commitment, uh, putting the work in, the effort. But I don't think you want to put any work into anyone that doesn't um, 
want to commit either because I, this Ace of Wands to me with this Fox is somebody who's a little sneaky and I feel like the roles are changed now. You're now the one in control. You're now focusing on something new. You're very enlightened. Uh, you know what this person's up to. But I feel like they want forgiveness. But can you forgive this person? I don't know. Um, to be honest, the roles are reversed. You're, you are now seeing things different. You're the one wearing the hat now. <laughs> I don't think you see this person in the future. If they want a future with you, I don't think you're going to grant them their wish. I think this person probably hurt you. Uh, I think they kept secrets. You were waiting and waiting for this person. Um, and uh, I feel like you were holding on to this and you're just done with it. You know that there's no future with this person. They're, they're too sneaky. They're too focused on passion. They're not very emotionally available. I don't see a lot of emotion here from this person. Too much fire can burn you. You know that, right? Leo, let's see what forgiveness is. Ah, the chain, yes. Chain of events that will affect your life, yeah. So somebody here wants to come towards you. They want forgiveness. Yeah, be very careful with this person. I feel like if you forgive this person and have a new beginning, I actually feel like this person will still hold back. This is somebody who may come in and tell you they want to work on this and have a new beginning. And uh, but they're not it's not what they do tell you, it's what they're not telling you. So watch this. It's very negative, a little fly on the wall. You know, you're getting that little intuition that you know this person, right? Yeah, you're going to move away from this person. You're going off to have a new beginning with someone else. They're going to try to come towards you and make peace, hoping you can forgive them. I don't think so. I feel like you're wearing the hat now. You're the now focused elsewhere. New beginning in love elsewhere. Let's see if it tells us. Where is this new beginning? What is this all about for Leo? Ah, yes. April. Apple. Pardon me. Temptation will test you. Yeah, this person's going to try to test you, right? They're going to tempt you, and I think you need to be careful. I don't think this person's going to be very clear. There's a little fly on the wall here going to tell you, don't trust this person. They don't tell you the whole truth. They only tell you what they think they need to tell you to come back and get you to forgive them. This is a chain of events that will affect your life, okay? I feel like this is very something very important. If you look at the details, you know this person is dishonest okay they aren't going to be they aren't going to be tr truthful okay and they're not necessarily going to lie but they're not going to tell you everything this is someone who doesn't do things right they didn't come towards you right now they want to come in and make things right but i don't think this person can i feel like this person has kind of a dark energy what is this enlightenment about for leo yeah, bouquet. Compliments from an admirer. Yeah, this person's probably going to come in, give you flowers, make you, give you a gift or something uh, to try to tempt you. But if you bite off this apple, temptation is going to test you for this new beginning. Now, this person's coming back. I think you need to uh, bring the tower down and go have a completely new beginning. This person's going to come in. It's going to happen very suddenly. Let me just move this out of the way, see what comes up now, now that this is here. Tell me about the Three of Wands. What is this Three of Wands about? Uh, lightning, yes. Control your anger, or you will be sorry. So some of you, yeah, you kind of know, feel like you've been sort of waiting for this person. You actually expect this, and I feel like when you think about this person, uh, you've been holding on to something here that makes you really angry, it's all in the details. You know exactly what this person's up to. They're going to come in, and uh, but you are now focused on something else, someone else. Yeah, you're not into this person anymore, Leo. I feel like you're really moving towards something much better. Uh, I feel like you're moving. Like I say, you're moving jobs, moving to a new place, maybe a really tall building. It's going to be success. The sun is going to be shining. Uh, you may actually meet somebody there. Maybe you're moving in with somebody else. <laughs> Leo, let's see what this tower, more on this tower. Yeah, there is a table here, hard work ahead. There's going to be a lot of hard work. 
uh, a lot of really solid hard work ahead of you for this uh, but it's work worth it because it's going to be very solid okay there is a very solid foundation beautiful some of you will buy a new table when you get there maybe a new coffee table <laughs> Interesting. Tell me about this hat. What is this different role with this Ace of Wands, Leo? Flowers, yeah, happiness, yeah. You're 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 see things differently. You're focused on something else. Uh I feel like, you know, you're seeing things a lot brighter here. Uh you're go you're focused you're focused away. You're not focused on this person anymore. You're focused on your new beginning. And you know that wherever this is or wherever this person is this new person i feel that you're you're focused on this new energy new growth the possibilities i i feel like you will have someone that will admire you uh, i do feel like this past person admires you they see you differently they see you a lot clearer now but i feel like it's too late honestly i feel like there's a chain of events here this person's going to come towards you looking for forgiveness and i just think you need to just stop and look at all the details this person did not tell you the truth before. Uh, they're probably going to come in and try to make peace, tell you that they love you. But this is a temptation to have a new beginning. And I think you should not. But it's up to you. So that's the energy. Uh, I think this person will do exactly what they did before. Uh, I feel like you're going to have an epiphany. You know with the skull there's hidden secrets things that this person doesn't tell you and that's the thing they're they're not going to be clear and you know it so broken wishbone yeah you will not get your wish from this person they will break their promise they may even give you a promise ring that will actually um not really be a promise so move towards something else this new person focus okay leo see yourself focusing focusing away from this person you know you know you can't trust this person they broke promises before and they will do it again okay you have happiness in the future and i feel that uh there, you will have a secret admirer when you get to this new place you're going to have love so let's grab some outcome cards here and get on with it trying to dig everything out of this that I can give you the clarity yeah that page of swords I don't like that being in the middle you if, if this person just they, they just have a very negative energy they want to know they're trying they wish they were a fly on the wall right they wish they could know whether you've had a new beginning if you've moved on uh, if you've moved and met someone new and I feel like that's what it is and I don't think you're going to grant this person their wish I don't think they're going to find out what they want. If you've moved, they probably want to know where you are, what you're doing. Uh, they may try to send you flowers or do something. Don't bite into that apple. <laughs> it's a temptation. What happened last time, Leo, when you bit that apple? It probably had worms in it. Yeah. All right. Let's see what the outcome is. Guidance from Spirit. What is the outcome of this situation? For Leo yeah new vitality yeah you're definitely looking for something new you're feeling really really good you, you know what take this happiness all this beautiful energy all that sunny energy that you have and move forward okay um, you, you're going to build a solid foundation for yourself elsewhere uh, you are in charge. You're going to be wearing many hats in this new job. It's a creative job, possibly. It's going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of personal growth. So you will have a new admirer. If it's a new job, you may actually find uh, flowers on your desk when you get there as an, a, wel a welcoming. Uh, but there's enlightenment here. Beautiful. You will find out who, if you have a secret admirer, you're going to find out eventually who it is. So some of you are resting and reconsidering. Uh, you've been on a break from somebody and they're now changing their perspective and their approach. They're now coming in to reconsider you. But I feel like you need to pull back. Be careful about this temptation. Reconsider. Don't just jump into something with an X. Okay. Uh, if you're a dark hair woman, especially caution. Because I feel uh, if you're dealing with a dark haired woman, uh, I suppose it could be a man. 
uh, although there is a dark haired man card in here but dealing with a relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair and uh, if this is you this person's coming towards you um, but they could also be the dark haired woman coming your way wanting to make things right looking for forgiveness but this is a chain of events you need to be very careful what's going on here yeah, well-deserved reward. Yeah, some of you, if you move away from this energy and you start to be enlightened and you you take your love, take all, all this beautiful energy that you have, turn your back and move away. This person's going to try to come in and I feel that uh, you need to put whatever this is behind you. It's like the Nine of Wands energy. You need to look back at this. You need to you know, don't I don't think you should surrender. I actually feel like you know you need to give up on this and go find love elsewhere. And you, it's telling you that you will. Okay, so just keep remembering that every time this if this person comes in and tries to tempt you. And the darkest fears. Yeah, you know, right? The darkest fears. You know. Like I said, this could be you. This could be the person coming towards you. They're thinking about you. They want forgiveness. Yeah, some of you need to spread your wings and go off and have a new beginning. You're being enlightened, you know. There may be someone who's being enlightened and they're admiring you. They they see this. They're going to come in and tempt you. I want you to be careful. Face those fears. Some of you have a lot of fears about this person or this person needs to face their fears before they can come towards you. Um, because I feel like this person's very got some very negative energy um, and a dark energy too, okay, where they don't always tell the truth. And I don't like that energy when people come towards you and they don't want to tell you the truth. They never will. Uh, they only tell you what you want to hear and then they turn around and break uh, their promises, okay? So spread your wings and go for that new. Go for the light, Leo. Go for the sun. If you're moving to a sunny place, keep going. That's where you need to be. You need the sun. Yeah, change your focus away from this person. Start focusing on the future. That's where you need to be. Okay, so focus on your work. Okay, put a lot of effort into this. It's going to be a lot of work, but it's going to it's going to pay off. It's going to bring a lot of abundance towards you. It's beautiful. Okay, so uh, you will meet a new person. And anybody who comes towards you now, okay, Make sure this person's focused on you, that they are dedicate, you know, put some effort into it. Um, I feel like this person that's coming back from the past for a lot of you, that's uh, wanting to put some work into this, wanting to, you know, they're seeing things different. They want this new beginning. They're coming to clear things up. I feel like you want to make sure this person is focused on you. I see some challenges here. This person doesn't necessarily... Uh, stay focused, right? They're probably more focused on themselves. So be very careful. This person is not, they're going to come in and try to pull the wool over your eyes is what I think. And uh, I feel like you aren't going for it. You need to look at this from every angle before you allow this person to tempt you. So take care of yourselves, you guys. I wish you the very best in this. Pretty deep reading. Purging forward, I, this, it was the same energy for Aries. I imagine a lot of people are going to get this because I've been feeling this change in the reading slowly. All these exes, all these people coming back around. I feel like a lot of it has to do with this whole lockdown. Everybody was closed off, locked down. You know, in a lot of places things are opening up and all these people are coming out of the woodwork, you know, and they, they don't have anyone in their rad radar, so they're coming back to their exes, right? Coming back to you know, to tempt you to have a new beginning. But don't bite that apple. I feel like a lot of you are moving forward and it's much more positive. So take care. I wish you the best and bye for now.